Hello Capricorn and welcome to the Nutcase Network. This is your reading for September 2022 where we're, we're going to see what it is you need to know what's going on with you guys in September. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Anything you need to know is below in the description box and I really appreciate all of you who are supportive of the channel. Okay. Thanks for being here. Sit back, relax. Take some deep breaths. Some of you guys' back may be hurting. You may be having some back pain or some gastrointestinal, digestive, stomach, intestine pain. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm just saying. What is the energy, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors? Five million dollars for my Capricorn, September 2022. Capricorn, we have Angel of Balance. So you're trying to get things balanced out. I feel like you need to know that you have support. You have support from the universe, from the spiritual realm in helping you get things balanced out in your life, helping you find direction. Um, yeah, who, look at that, door to spirit, exactly. So there are angels, there is, there's, um, there's ethereal support that you are being given to make things more balanced in your life. Teamwork, okay, to overcome challenges. And then we have angel of strength. So you have a lot of angels around you, Capricorn. You have a lot of spiritual beings that are supporting you through whatever hardship or difficulty that you may be experiencing at this time, okay? So the angel of balance card number 48, I don't know why I had to do this for earth signs, but I feel like the readings are going to be different for the other signs. But y'all earth signs, that y'all needed this for some reason. Okay, we have angel of balance, which says being centered and self-honoring in your choices. This loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful, centered approach. So whenever you feel off balance, you need to know that you have a lot of support, Capricorn, okay? You have a lot of beings and entities and spirit spirit guides, people on your spirit team that are really supporting you through a lot of the difficult times that you may be experiencing. They're giving you balance and they're giving you strength, okay? You may feel like you're not supported. You may feel like people have been really coming against you or that you've been susceptible to a lot of attacks. But I feel like uh, part of the reason why you may feel like you've been susceptible to attacks is because you were maybe weak with your resolve. Like your resolve may have been weakened due to some disappointments that you could have experienced, okay? What does Capricorn need to be focusing on September 2022? We have Bloodstone, get up and get moving. So the action... Needs action needs to be taken, okay? Ameth action needs to be taken. Amethyst, trust your intuition and appetite. Get out of your comfort zone. So your intuition is telling you to do something that is out of your comfort zone and to get up and get moving and do it now. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> like they want you to do whatever this is right now, okay? Maybe not right right now, but... They want you to work on getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that you're not used to doing. Going places that you're not used to going. Experiencing new things. And I feel like that's going to give you a lot of inspiration. Um, it's going to feed your creativity. It's going to help you come up with new techniques and ways to handle situations in your life. Okay? So let's see. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors for Capricorn. Father, Mother, God, what is the energy around them for September 2022? Heart chakra. So there may be some emotional energy around you. Ooh, deception. Oh. Deception and envy. 
and material harvest, okay? All right. So Capricorn, I feel like there's someone around you who is envious of what you have. They're envious of your emotional maturity, maybe, or they're envious of what you're able to accomplish, okay? And that could be something that's really holding you back. We have movement choices and decisions, okay? Foundations and achievements. So you are you are in embodying this energy of making choices and decisions in your life, Capricorn, that are building the bricks or that are providing the building blocks for whatever your achievements are that you want to have in life, okay? But I definitely feel like there's someone here who is, I don't know, it's like there's someone here who's jealous of what you have, whether that be a relationship, finances, job, career, business, home, okay? People can be jealous. People literally are jealous of shit that you find inconvenient. And, and it'd be like, why? Why, God? Why are these folks mad? And they don't even understand. And I feel like that's kind of what you're dealing with. And I think you just have to block those situations or block those people out, to be honest. Okay? What does Capricorn need to know? September. Okay, Four of Swords Reverse. So someone is opening up. Someone is talking. This could be a, a Libra or an Aries. They may be opening up to you about a situation or about situations that they're dealing with. Okay, what else does Capricorn need to know for September 2022? We have Page of Cups. So there could be someone here who is deciding to break their silence and apologize for something. Okay, Six of Wands. Um, but I feel like it's because of your success, the attention that you receive, or the fact that they want attention from you. Okay, it feels like someone is only friends with you because of the attention that you receive. Or someone only wants to be your friend or apologize or get to know you because you're popular, successful, or you get a lot of attention, okay? Because you know some people are cloud chasers because they want, some, they want some of what you got. They want that to rub off on them, okay? Two of Pentacles in the world card. But I feel like this, I don't know. I feel like you are trying to put an end to your juggling of this situation. I feel like you're trying to make a decision to put an end to whatever this connection is. I feel like you don't want to be friends with this person or you don't want to talk to this person. I feel like some of you guys are really trying to balance your finances, balance your energy, balance your time, manage your time properly. Okay. And if you have any type of fame or popularity, I feel like you could really do without it. It's not necessarily what you are after. Like, y'all may be more after the money or y'all may be more after the lifestyle, but you, you don't care about the fame. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but yeah, it's like you could do without the fame or the recognition. You just want the money. Um, and then I also feel like you just you're contemplating whether or not you should give this person a chance, accept their apology or just even be their friend, period. Sorry, I'm not trying to shake the camera. What's the Four of Swords reverse? You could also be feeling restless about a situation. Yeah, the Three of Swords. It's like you haven't healed from something yet. Someone may be trying to apologize to you, Capricorn, but it's like you haven't healed. Or they haven't given you time to heal. Or you don't feel at peace with what they've done or what you've been through with this person. We have the King of Wands. So this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this could be an Aries who is opening up and kind of telling you about the pain that they feel about a situation or they're apologizing to you for something that they did to you, but it's like you don't want to hear it or you're not ready or it's not a good time. Maybe you're reaching out to this person and they're still in pain and it's not a good time. Okay. But I feel like you want to resolve this now or they do. Someone has... A lot of urgency about resolving a situation. What's the uh, page of cups for Capricorn? Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely a pair out here. All right, what else is the page of cups? I feel like someone is opening up about their desires, about what they want, about what they aspire to be 
about what they see for their life, about what they want. Like someone is opening up emotionally about what it is that they're working towards or what they want to work towards or what they want out of a situation. Either you or someone else. Okay. Someone wants to work on something. They want to work at it. But damn, you don't want to. I feel like someone wants to work on something with you and you just, it's not the right time. You're not ready. You don't want to. Or you're not interested or you're bored of this person. You're tired. I feel like it's just, I don't know. I feel like somebody's forcing it. They're trying to force a situation or push you to do something that you really don't want to do. What's the Six of Wands for Capricorn? Ten of Swords? Mm. So you may be afraid or worried that this person is going to betray you like for clout or money or success or popularity or fame or for attention from someone else. Okay, what else is the Six of Wands? The Eight of Wands, yeah. I don't know, I feel like maybe this person has left you in the past or they've abandoned you in the past. And I just feel like some of you guys are just worried that that's what's gonna happen again. Like somebody wants to work on something with you, but it's like the same thing over and over. It's like you keep going through this cycle with this person over and over again. And you're just, I feel like you're tired of it. Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So someone is coming to... Yeah, I feel like someone is coming to give you some type of opportunity to take advantage of an offer that they are presenting to you. Someone is presenting you with an offer and they're giving you the opportunity to take advantage of it, but I just feel like you don't want it. I don't know, I could be wrong, but it's like, it feels like something that's happened before. It's like whatever they're offering you, you don't want it or you're tired of it or it's just not enough, okay? You feel like this person doesn't appreciate you because it's like they continue to leave you and then come back like you're still going to be there. I don't know. That's what it feels like. Okay, what's the three of swords for Capricorn? Page of Pentacles, the world, and the seven of wands. So someone definitely is trying to stop you from ending a situation I feel like someone is trying to get back into your good graces, Capricorn. I feel like um, someone could be giving you some type of gift, maybe jewelry, maybe money, maybe candy or chocolates or flowers or something like that to try and show you that they care or to try to prevent you from walking away or ending a situation. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's like somebody's literally going to go broke trying to prove to you that they love you or they care for you. Like this could literally be some jewelry, like something that's small but expensive, okay? What's the King of Wands? Okay, the title. What else is the King of Wands? Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. It's like somebody is making up for abandoning you, walking away from you, or ignoring you. But it's like they just keep doing it over and over again. I don't know how to explain it. It's like somebody who walks out of your life and then they come back with money or gifts to try to make you feel better about being abandoned or feeling alone or make you feel better about them breaking your heart. Yeah, Will of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. I don't know. I don't know. It kind of feels like someone is trying to get some type of emotional energy off of you. Like, I don't know. It's, it seems like someone is very in and out. Like they breadcrumb you. They ghost you when they want to. When they don't want to talk to you, you never hear from them. When they do want to talk to you, they're all up in your fucking face. And then they come back with money or gifts or food or offers to take you out or all these gifts they want to give you because they know that they fucking don't treat you right. That's what I feel. Okay, what's the king, what's the queen of wands? Two of pentacles in reverse. You're tired of juggling. You don't want to... 
Five of Wands, you're tired of going back and forth. You're tired of arguing. You don't want to argue. You don't want to continue juggling the situation. That's why the world came up with the Two of Pentacles. It's like you know that someone is trying to control what you're able to do. You, or you know that they're trying to control what you accomplish. Maybe you you could also know that they're trying to figure out like where you live or gain information on what you're doing. But it's like they don't want to give you any information or it's like it's always an argument with someone. Yeah, what's the Eight of Pentacles? Oh shit, the Emperor in reverse. What else is the Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn? Death and the Three of Wands. So you keep waiting for this person to change, but they never change. It's like you keep waiting for them to take responsibility, but they never do. You keep waiting for them to work on themselves, but they never do. It's like they're just controlling and... I don't know. Somebody, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this person, but I feel like they want what they want, but they don't want to give you what you want or they don't want to give you what you deserve. And yeah, you've been waiting for justice for a long, you've been waiting for them to focus on you for a long time, or you've been waiting for them to like treat you how you deserve for a long time. I don't know. Maybe somebody is in the public eye. Maybe somebody travels for a living. Maybe someone gets a lot of attention at their work. But it's like, I don't want to continuously think about what the fuck this person is doing behind my back because I know they never change. They just want to be in control of the situation all the time. But they lack maturity. Okay, what's the Ten of Swords for Capricorn? The star. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Somebody might be in the public eye and they just keep a lot of hoes, bitches and hoes, whether male or female. What else is the Ten of Swords? Okay, in the Knight of Wands, see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It just feels like somebody goes off and just leaves you to pick up the pieces or leaves you to take care of the responsibility. I don't know if you got a kid with this person or what, but it kind of feels like someone who leaves you at home because they know you're going to be at home waiting for them when they get back and they go off and do whatever the fuck. Then they come back after they abandoned you or you don't know what the fuck is going on. Then they come back and want to give you all these gifts because they know they've been out fucking around. Yeah, it's like what somebody does for work. I don't know. Or they focus on their work all the time and they never pay attention to you. But it's like you it's like you're waiting for this person to work on this, but it's like you're starting to realize that the work that what they do for work is a problem, or you're starting to realize that they're never gonna work on it. They always say they're gonna work on it, but they're never really gonna work on it. Okay, what's the eight of wands? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're ready to move on. You, um, I feel like you want this to be over with. I feel like you're ready to take action to move on or to move or relocate or something like that. You may even be relocating for an opportunity. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe somebody doesn't want you to do this, but I feel like you should do what you feel like you need to do for you. Because I feel like you gave this person time to do what it is that they needed to do to build up and boost up their career. But now that you're trying to do the same thing or now that you have similar opportunities, they're mad. What's the eight of wands? Yeah, the devil. <sighs> I don't know. It's like this person, I don't know. They're trying to keep you stuck. They don't want you to move forward. It's like they may even be communicating with you a lot about what it is that you're doing, trying to figure out what choice you're going to make. Are you going to tell me? Like, because I feel like somebody feels you leaving them behind or somebody feels like you are finally, um, somebody feels like you're finally moving on to do what it is that you want to do. You're finally taking action towards your own healing in a situation where you're not putting them first or you're not focusing on them or you're not giving them as much attention as you used to. And I feel like they're jealous. 
I feel like someone is extremely jealous. We're going to use that big stack. What else does Capricorn need to know? All right, and angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God, about September 2022. What else does Can? I was about to say fucking cancer. Okay, Capricorn, the signs that are out here, you, Capricorn, are moving on. I feel like you're telling this person, look, I need more attention or I need you to spend more time at home or else I'm out. Or I, you, you're telling this person that you're moving or you're looking for a new place for a job opportunity or something. It's like you are traveling, you're moving, you're going. It is what it is. Nobody can stop you or keep you from going. Because you've been waiting a long time for this person to get it together. Or you've been waiting a long time for this position and you just don't want to argue anymore. You don't, it's not the right time or time has run out. Something. You Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, maybe Libra as well. Maybe Gemini. Possibly Virgo, okay? All right. What else does Capricorn need to know about September 2022? Ooh, that's what I'm telling you. Look, romantic gesture and gift. So definitely somebody is trying to give you some type of gift or show you some type of romantic gesture so you won't walk away. But I feel like nothing's going to change. I feel like they just want to keep you doing the same thing that you've been doing all this time. What else does Capricorn need to know? Wow, filing for divorce. So somebody's trying to prevent you from divorcing them or leaving them or moving away. Gifted and revenge. See, because that, that's that deception and envy. They're jealous of your gifts. They're jealous of what it is that you can do, what it is that you know. And I feel like they're trying to keep you stuck. It's like they want to be the one who's always the center of attention. But they don't want to give you the attention that they know that you deserve. Even though it's like you're going to get that attention anyway, regardless. Okay. What else does Capricorn need to know for September 2022? Okay, we have okay, we have child support and enticing. So somebody may be trying to entice you with gifts, romantic gestures, so you won't file the, for divorce and put them on child support. Okay, love, yeah. I don't know. Blossoming and undress me, yeah. So be mindful that someone is not trying to use sex, love, gifts, money to keep you in a stuck position. Because it's like they're trying to convince you that they're going to change. But I really don't see anything changing about this person or what it is that they're doing at all. At all. 100%. I feel like they're just trying to keep you in the cycle. And with the two of pentacles and the world that we saw earlier, you really are tired of that. That, that cycle is draining you. So much so that you haven't been able to focus on what it is that you need to focus on. Okay. So what is the advice for Capricorn in this situation? Trust. Okay. So spirit wants you to trust that things are going to get better. Um, you need to have a lot of faith and trust in the month of September, especially if you're walking away from this person because they're jealous of what you're about to receive. And if you stop or slow down because they're convincing you to, then it's going to take you longer to receive this. We have communicate clearly and get more information. So you need to find out more information about what it is that this person is wanting from you, what they desire from you, what they're trying to achieve and what you're going to get in return. Because I, I feel like someone is giving you a lot of empty promises that they're not going to really fulfill. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed this message. Thank you so much for your love and support Capricorn. I really appreciate it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stick to the positivity today and every day. Be blessed and don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.